go up here. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see you in the world. Looks as bad as ours. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. They think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian. So you better remember to duck. Sorry, Turians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Ah, still can't save. <laughs> We've got hostiles on the perimeter. Get on that gun. Oh jeez. Mini game. Uh, remember with these types of guns, uh, do not zoom in, as it will actually make uh, it move around a lot slower. And it doesn't really help the aim, you just have to, you know, hit in the general direction that the enemies are running. Alright, I guess that did it. <laughs> that took care of that. We're a veteran almost. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Sure. I've got a moment. Close your eyes.
they're so high right now. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. Let's do it. What's his condition? Sammy, where are you? Can't find you. Message me back, please. We'll go into that place and come out not the same, not the human anymore. I can hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull, whispering, they won't. Stop! Why won't it stop until I go where the others won't get turned into one of those things? What? <laughs> oh god, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop! Don't listen to the voices, don't go in there. I can make it stop. I know what to do. The records of a madman. Well, of an indoctrinated guy, it was pretty much. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never save. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I had to make a lot of those. There may be more, but I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard. The faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest. And then, I will join them. You mean... It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This Shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were the conqueror. Oh, did I interrupt the speech? Dang it. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Owen, oh, Makara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. Are you going to do your speech again? <laughs> That's not exactly what about this the speech. Come on. <laughs> We could circle around and flood with reinforcements. Must have been three days in that sector, trapped in some big men sniping in a blue. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rana? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. 
Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talizor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. All right, Anderson, let's hear the plan. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Less than 40% of Hammer has reported in. Tell me there's more coming. There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. I'll check on my team. We'll get going oh, soon. <laughs> I'll give the battalion leaders the heads up. We'll be ready as soon as you are. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's move before the Reapers realize what we're up to. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought us pain, and suffering, and loss. But it's also brought us together, as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. 
It's more powerful than any weapon. Stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother. Every son. Every unborn child. They're trusting you. Depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together. And together, we will defeat them. Alright, going to send the same squad with me. And we're now approaching the final, final stretch. Well, I guess that'll be the final, final, final stretch, but hey, yeah, whatever. <laughs>